party house um, and the drugs and alcohol were provided um, free of charge. That's not all that was going on inside this Oakland University professor's home. Yeah, had all the makings of a movie, a police raid, texts and photos from a cell phone, drugs, sex, and a reputable college professor at the center of it all. And now the former professor will soon be sentenced for what went on inside his Oakland Township home. Local 4 defender Karen Drew first broke this story and tonight takes us through the trial. We are now learning more detailed information on what happened inside this Oakland Township home on Indian Side Road. Prosecutors say it wasn't just the home of a local college professor. It was a party house filled with alcohol, drugs, guns and teenagers. You are in an Oakland County courtroom. What does Kate, Plunk and Jean mean? The judge and jury getting a lesson on drug terms. You're going to see that Joe made some very bad decisions. And it all has to do with this Oakland University professor, 49-year-old Joseph Scheel. Uh, we may enter the residence. During the two and a half day trial, the jury heard witnesses come forward to explain why they would go to the professor's Oakland Township home. Drink alcohol and do drugs. You were 19 at the time, right? Yes. So you were not old enough to drink legally, right? No, I was not. Okay, and who was providing the alcohol um, that you were drinking? Joe. All right, and um, what types of drugs did you participate in utilizing? Ketamine, cocaine, marijuana. The defense attorney accused Spencer of being high I on the stand. High. His response, he was nervous. I don't want to remember the things that happened at Joe's house. I've been trying to forget them for a year. Another witness, Ashley J, testified about the drug activity inside the professor's home. Who provided them? Um, Joe. Right. Did you ever have to pay for them? No. Did you have sex in that house? Yes. On more than one occasion or just once? More than one occasion. Okay. And was the defendant present or within eyesight of you having sex? Um, yes, sometimes. Jay also told the court about the cameras in the professor's home in almost every room. Oakland County Sheriff's deputies told the court about raiding the professor's home, finding a firearm, and plenty of drugs. Inside of these, uh, these five gallon buckets are uh, uh, nitrous oxide canisters, uh, otherwise known on the street as whippets. In closing arguments, the prosecution presented its theory on why the professor opened up his home for these young people. And the motive of the defendant providing free drugs to these individuals is exactly that. No chicks, no Can't come over unless you bring the girls. Sex, out in the open. Shields' attorney closed by telling the jury to question the reliability of the witnesses. You can imagine, good souls that you are, saying to yourself, I don't like what he did. I don't like what I heard. I don't like some of the things that were implied or suggested. I don't like the sex talk. I don't like any of that. I just have to hope that you can put those things aside and judge the facts as they are. In the end, the jury found 49-year-old Joseph Scheel guilty of drug possession, maintaining a drug house, and one firearms charge. The college professor is expected to be sentenced in March. After he serves that sentence, he'll be deported back to Canada, where he is a citizen. Reporting in Oakland Township, I'm Karen Drew, Local 4 News. And Professor Shield no longer works at Oakland University. He was fired in June of last year. And we did ask the university for a comment. A spokesperson said there is nothing new to add. The case has reached its conclusion.